Hello, Chris Hanbury from Serious Squash and going to do a short uh, post here today on breathing. Um, and I know it sounds simple, but uh, I'll get to it in a second. So I'm just going to lie down or maybe before I do, I'll just maybe demonstrate what I normally do. So what I normally do when I'm breathing is you can see my chest really goes up and then I actually my ribs put, protrude here. Um, when I do that, so apparently that's not good, and it affects lots of my movement and balance. Um, so this is, is kind of like the basic test. Um, so you put one hand on your chest, one hand on your stomach. Um, obviously, I can't do both while I'm filming, but so just pretend my other hand's on my stomach, and I'm just gonna take a breath. And when I did this today, when I did an assessment, like my hand only on my chest was moving, the one down here wasn't moving at all. Um, so obviously I was only getting shallow breathing uh, just from my chest and the last couple of years I had a lot of back, rib, chest pains and they think this is why. So um, eventually I got to the point where I was able to breathe in my hand here, not moving and you can see there my stomach is moving uh, and that was pretty challenging to do and it's kind of strains my neck, my body a lot to try to breathe that way um, because it's so different and because I've taken, I don't know how many million breaths, um, it's probably just breathing very shallowly into my lungs and my chest. Uh, so it's something I have to retrain, but um, they, I don't know, they said probably a week or so and I should start to get more comfortable with it and start to do it without thinking. So, yeah, so, so far it's only been a couple hours, um, and I do feel a difference already, but, um, so a couple tips. So after you try this test and you find if you're breathing just with your, your chest here and not your belly, then, um, okay. So what they had me do was my hand here. Like, I'm not just trying to go just up with the belly. I'm trying to actually expand on the outside as well. Okay. So, yeah, um, you can have a hand here or you can also poke one of the, your love handles, uh, depending on how big you are. So just put your hand, your finger there, and you should feel it expand there, and also in your back. So you're not just going up and down, you're also expanding in all the directions around your belly. Um, and then when you're exhaling, instead of just letting the air out, like you're actually, they said it's kind of like a cough. <coughs> so you're supposed to really feel it deeper, and if you have, um, your finger, I don't really understand this part, but your finger is somewhere on your hips here. <coughs> like you can, you can feel it there on just on your hip bone. <coughs> okay, so if when you're exhaling, you should be able to feel. So you can tell since I haven't, um, I haven't breathed this way probably ever or not very often at least that um, for me it's very effortful and forceful to try to inhale and exhale. So it can actually be pretty fatiguing just breathing, which is kind of funny, but uh, um, yeah, the idea is that it'll help me get, I guess, more oxygen and not be using my upper body so much and get my center of gravity and my core a bit stronger and more centered. So um, yeah, I just thought that was an interesting test and maybe I'll update in a couple weeks or a week or whatever and then let you guys know how it's working and uh, yeah, maybe if you're in more interested in this, then go get uh, an assessment from uh, maybe an exercise uh, physiologist or a uh, some, I think, phys physiotherapist would be good for this. Um, but you can do this basic test on yourself at home. One hand here, one on your belly. Okay, good luck. Oh, and how do you like that new shirt? Not bad.